of content. <laughs> What's happening, my blog buddies? Welcome to a brand new episode of Blocked Content. My name is Callum, and this is gonna be your content for today. So we've seen a lot of Super Mario Odyssey, we've seen a lot of gameplay, we've seen a lot of previews and a lot of trailers, but nothing can really prepare you for how cool a game is and how cool its mechanics are than just seeing it in action and played by the gamers, by the players, by the hardcore, you know, core of gamers who definitely take these games and pull it up to a whole new level. Now, I know it's nothing like we've seen with The Legend of Breath of the Wild when, you know, there were advanced copies and stuff like that. However, we do see some awesome stuff happening with Super Mario Odyssey in terms of speed running. So are you guys ready for some crazy footage? So there's a giveaway. You can win Super Mario Odyssey's Cappy to wear on your head and capture your enemies or friends. Anyways, leave a comment why you should win Cappy. Subscribe to the channel, hit the bell, tell a friend you could win Cappy. There's a new giveaway that we announced tomorrow because that's when we'll put a video up about the winner of the Cappy contest. So this is really crazy. It's been so hard to choose a winner and I'm really confident about this one. So uh, stay tuned for that giveaway, but there's also a new giveaway coming that's gonna be even crazier than a crazy cap can be. So remember that you can be the comment question winner. And what this means is that your comment that you put down below will appear on screen or in the next video. So if you have an original, funny, or you know, a theory or something for this video's question, just subscribe to my channel, hit the bell, and leave a comment on this video. You can also support block content on my Patreon. So you can even give just one dollar a month, which would mean the channel would stay up and running, do crazy stuff, and you would get a lot of it in return. Like deciding what I'll be making a video about next. So definitely do that and wait until the end of this video or go to patreon.com slash block content. Content. So today's comment question is, are you going to be speedrunning Super Mario Odyssey? I want to know if there are any speedrunners in my blocked content community, in my, my blocked community. That's cool. So uh, let me know down in the comments if you speedrun and if you are planning to do so with Super Mario Odyssey because I'd love to talk a bit with you about your strategies. I'd love to, uh, you know, maybe put some gameplay of yours up if you play the demo. So I want to know all about that. All right, let's get into this so there's some gameplay from i think it's a target or a best buy and this guy by the name of jacob babion actually is playing and he's saying finally got my hands on odyssey there's room for improvement especially the rolling so let's check out the video that this guy posted because these strategies that you see here are insane let's go so we are seeing the sand kingdom atop the highest tower is the first mission and you can see the 2d tower now what this guy is going to do next is going to be really cool to see. He starts with a long jump and immediately goes down the slope with a roll. And you can see that there's this little hop you can do that increases your speed dramatically. So going up the hill is going to need a lot more hops than just going down it. So we ignore Cappy saying that there are Bowser's footprints and Mario rolls along these small Goombas. What's really cool here is that Mario is avoiding the steps by doing an immediate long jump and this strategy by throwing Cappy and doing the dive. He actually captures enemies in this too to have quicker mobility. So that was the bullet bill just now, another cap jump, and another, this looks like a ground pound to cappy jump. Then here we see, of course, a wall kick with cappy, and that's gonna be really insane because he just skipped over a huge part. You know, a back jump and wall kick to cappy. So this is speed running original Super Mario Brothers style. So just running as fast as you humanly can and trying to avoid those bullet bills while you do it. So he got hit right there. There's room for improvement. However, this was really well done. I think there's a strat here when he can jump on top of the bullet bills too. So this could definitely be improved in a few areas. However, he's doing all the best that he can. And right here he is on top of the tower and he's got the very first power moon. So that was actually really quick. I mean, we're not, we're, we're not even two minutes into the video and he already got the first moon, which is really fast and I know because we've played this so you start on top of the tower and have a small little cutscene where you can see all these new things appear moon shards in the sand and we'll see how fast this guy can do the next the next power moon in this mission so a little bit of camera twisting and here we go 
he's immediately jumping off the platform, jumping down, and possibly going for, yeah, that's what we thought. He's immediately going for another bullet bill and completely skipping over the entire section. He's just barely reaching the land and he's got the first piece of a power moon. So this is what you can expect from Super Mario Odyssey speedrunning and it's crazy. He's actually doing his best to skip over the water by, you know, keeping his momentum and speed going. And he knows exactly where the hidden platforms are on that poison lake. So he's doing all the long jumps that he can, trying to get all those Power Moon coins. So this, of course, has a little bit of waiting time, which sucks for speedrunners. And he can use Cappy here to, you know, get a lot of distance and, of course, the roll. He immediately knows the pathways. This is looking weird for people that don't know the gameplay, but there is this uh, sort of nose pass like enemy that actually has sunglasses. You can capture him, put on the sunglasses, and then you can see the hidden pathways. So that's where the moon appears. There's a big long jump coming and a cappy dive jump. And that's where the long jumps and the rolls come in. And here we have number two, the power moon. So this has got to be really cool for Nintendo to see because someone is doing his crazy best to get all these power moons as humanly fast as he humanly can. So it's really cool to see. And I'm thrilled, you know, I, this could mean a lot. So the upside down pyramid opens, which means that the next one is showdown on the inverted pyramid. And there's, of course, an airship on top of it, which is the home place of the Brutals. So we can see Cappy went inside Mario again, and we're doing a little bit of platforming right here, doing a long jump over there right. So we are going directly to that pyramid with all the long jumps that we can muster. I love that there are different animations for the long jump as well as you can see. So it's not just one animation for one jump. And I think they did that with the normal jumps um, from, you know, Galaxy onward. But it's really cool to see them, you know, go dive deep in all those awesome details. So the tower opens up and Mario jumps and long jumps inside, which is really, really fun to see. So we are immediately inside the inverted pyramid and see some gameplay of Mario jumping over a gap and immediately capturing a bullet bill and dashing inside of the 2D section. So this is so cool to see. And this is a little bit of Super Mario Galaxy gameplay where the gravity reverses and you can actually walk on the ceiling. And he's been playing this demo quite a while because he can definitely expect and duck under those upside down bullet bills and immediately clear that stage. So possibly there is a power moon really, really close to here and we are outside of the big temple pyramid right now. And there is the final pipe that we need to go in to go to the resting area. So we are here in the new area with the gravity down and so we know that we are still inside the pyramid crushing up a little bit but he is going to make a big turn and he lands exactly where we need to be right there on the platform and jumps on the flower so he makes a dive he accidentally hits a cactus i'm so sorry mario that's got to hit your nose but we have reached our destination we are now outside of the pyramid and we've got a little bit of heart right there that we're not going to get because we're speed running and here is bowser on his airship immediately flying away like some sort of trap so the brutals are here and they're laughing at you and there's a little bit of a cutscene of course them you know talking trash to mario and here is our new brutal boss so mario's going to be defeating this boss who has an awesome idol animation and kind of making fun of mario so mario knows exactly how to defeat this boss doing multiple jump damage so that's really cool a ufo hat sort of you know dropping bombs as ufos usually do Mario's just simply waiting. You know, this UFO is not going to catch me. If I just stand here, like in a Mario Party minigame, nothing's going to go wrong. So, another ball and chain attack, and Mario has to immediately throw it back with Cappy. An explosion and a jump on top of her head. So, wait just a little more, and we can probably defeat this boss in one fell swoop. So again, Mario doesn't really care anything about the bombs. If Mario were a little bit scared, he'd move a little bit more, but that's not gonna happen. So this is the point where the final attack jumps in and Mario hits her on the head and here comes the jump. There we go. So this is where we end. This is the cutscene of the brutal failing and falling and exploding into colorful stars. And what do we get for defeating it? It's a bundle of power moves. There we go. This was the speed run from our awesome 
Jacob Babillon. So thank you so much for this video. It's really crazy to see that people are able to do this amount of crazy strategies already in a game that's not even released yet. So thank you so much for sending that in. That has been crazy. And you guys, thank you for sending in your comments because that's what makes blocked content the best channel there is. So our previous comment came from Dave Phil, Phil Phillips. <laughs> that's crazy. This is what I think the final battle will be like. The final world takes place on the moon, right? So the battle starts with a 2D 8-bit section fight, cycling between this, Super Mario Brothers, Super Mario Brothers 3, and Super Mario World battles. Mario and Bowser pop out and it's revealed he has a cap ghost, much like Cappy living inside his hat. They land back on Earth in the Mushroom Kingdom somehow and both begin capturing targets. Bullet Bills, Hammer Brothers, possibly even the Brutals or a T-Rex battle. Bowser loses again, but he hasn't given up. He throws his wedding hat at the sun and becomes the sun flying towards Earth. Likewise, Mario throws Cappy at the moon and he becomes the moon, which has now grown bigger due to the power moons found in that area. They then go into an epic battle constantly charging into each other, shooting projectiles and it ends with Mario knocking Bowser out and kicking him into the sun. Day Phil Plips, this is really, really crazy and I actually see it happening if I close my eyes and imagine. So thank you so much for sending in that crazy, awesome theory. I love reading these things. So guys, if you have more of this, definitely send it over because I love to read it. So thank you so much for sending in your comments. Always a ton of fun to do. And of course, you can decide what I'll be making a video about next because blocked content is on Patreon. So if you even give $1 or maybe a little bit more, there are awesome rewards on that page. So click the button on the left at the end of this video and you can see what you'll be getting in return for doing a pledge to blocked content. So that'd be really cool. So remember, if you're not yet a member of blocked content, you can just click the subscribe button and all the fun and news will be just thrown at you daily. So if you do that, you'll be in the know. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you around the corner where there's always more blocked content. See ya.